Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're back at the 2006 Barbie three-story dream house to finish the kitchen makeover. Here's a quick recap. I gave the kitchen a good cleaning. I applied the shelf paper for the backsplash. I removed the washer and dryer and rearranged the stove and the sink. I changed my mind about the backsplash, so I removed the shelf paper. I painted almost everything white, including the appliances. I applied a new backsplash. Then I installed some upper cabinets using wooden jewelry drawers. And this is where we are now. First thing I'm going to do is add more detail to the appliances and sink cabinet. I'm going to paint all the little knobs and handles on the stove and fridge black and the sink cabinet and painting them gold. I applied some glossy Mod Podge to the appliances to give it some shine. That looks good. Before I glue back the sink and the stove, I'm going to drill away the other pegs.
Before I glue back the stove and the sink, I have to install the flooring. According to the poll, the flooring got the most votes. Thank you to everyone who voted. Looks like the screw from the faucet is in the way, so I'm going to try to remove it. But I couldn't, so I'm going to have to remove the plastic little bit that was in the way. That's much better. Now I put the screws back for the flooring. Glued in the stove. Put the back and glued from the stove. So I need to add more surface for the glue to make it stronger. So I inserted some foam bits. And it looks kind of short. Let me check the scale with Barbie. Yep, it's short. So I'm going to raise the stove and the sink. I also inserted some foam bits into the sink to make it stronger. So much better. Now for the cabinets. I'm checking to see if I have anything I can use. Nope, there isn't, so I'm going to use foam board and balsa wood for the door. I measured the space and cut my foam board. I had a lot of tries. I'm cutting the foam board six inches high and just under two inches wide.
The foam board was still too wide, so I cut a bit more off. There was another plastic bit sticking out, so I cut into the foam board. I'm using balsa wood for the cabinet doors. I'm cutting more foam boards so I can have two layers on each side where the ribbon hinge will be. I glued in a piece of foam board to each side. I used a second layer so I can glue the ribbon that I'm using as a hinge and there's space where the door can open. Yes, it works. I don't think I need a magnet because it's closing on its own. For the countertop, I'm also using foam board.
I inserted stained coffee stir sticks to hide the foam board bit, but this is something I should have done before gluing on the cabinet doors. It was hard fitting it in, and it turned out a bit sloppy. Oh well, I'll have to remember that for next time. I used this plant label stick, also stained with walnut, to cover the gap at the bottom. While that's drying, I glued on a coffee stir stick on the edge of the foam board for the countertop. And I applied a layer of dry decks. While that's drying, I glued in the paint label stick to cover the gap. For the stove, I'm adding these cubes at the bottom as feet. I gave the countertop a sanding before I painted. I painted the countertop gray. I put in some glitter to hopefully make it look like quartz. I did that with the best in black and pink pop countertops and it turned out really good. But I don't think it's working with this paint. I sprinkled more glitter on top but I'm not sure I like it so much. Maybe it should just be white. I'm leaving it for now, but please tell me what you think. Now I need some cabinet handles and faucet knobs. That looks good. Now I need a kitchen table. I have this one that was sold with the dollhouse. It's too short, but I want to challenge myself to use the original furniture in this makeover. So I need to give it some height. I'm using these wood rounds and using the table from the Best in Black Kitchen as a guide for the height. I'm gluing in a piece of foam board underneath the plastic table so there's more gluing surface when I glue the wood rounds to the plastic.
I'm using cardstock to wrap around the wood pieces to make it look like a solid piece. Then I apply dry decks so I can finish off the edges. I sanded it. And then I glue on the original legs and then painted it black. That looks good. The dollhouse didn't come with chairs, but I did find these at a garage sale a while ago. But I think they're too big. So I'm just going to borrow the ones from the Best in Black Kitchen and I'll come up with another chair plan later. Now I need some lighting. I'm grabbing my ping pong balls. and this round candle drip catcher I found in another garage sale. I'm using these little lights I got from the Dollarama. gluing it all together and I can easily turn it off and on. Then I painted the light gold. Then I grabbed some chain to hang it.
I'm drilling in a hole on the top so I can feed through some wire to hold the lighting fixture. I think the light is my favorite feature. I need some little art for over the stove. I have this little frame. I painted it gold. I printed some images that I got from the Met website. There's a section of images I can download for free. I was going to hang it over the stove, but it feels too small. Maybe over here. Nope. Maybe I'll hang it over here. That looks good. Then I look for some accessories for final touches. I went to my vase collection, but most of my vases are too tall, so I'm borrowing this fruit bowl from the Best in Black kitchen as well. There's still some work to do in the kitchen. I want to finish the inside of the lower cabinet. Not sure what I want to do with the countertop. I also want to finish off that edge so there's no dollhouse parts visible. But I think for now, I'm happy with how it looks. Tell me what you think down below. I still have the living room to do and the bedroom. And instead of being three floors, it's going to be only two floors. So this part will be the new laundry room. Should I put it here next to the kitchen? It will make the kitchen bigger if I don't put the doors up. Or should I put it on this side as a closet with a laundry inside? Tell me what you think and also let me know which makeover you want me to work on next. Barbie loves her new kitchen. She can't wait to start cooking. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.